Hi everybody! For this week's video, I share with you I did Charlie's emotional doll made on 22 needle knitting machine. First, we start by casting the machine, one in the front, one in the back, starting by the black needle for 13 rows. 13 rows. Don't worry, all numbers will be on the screen during video. So I keep cranking my machine. I go very fast and then cut it, put that in the middle, bring my other color, attach those two together. There. The color of yarn will change because I did a lot of those little pal and I forgot to record the one I did on the picture. So I did the black and green for the instruction and you could get the wine and almond at the end. So I keep going adding another color. I bring back the green. But like I said in the video, the, the color will change at the end. So I will do another 13 row, 13 rows this this is very easy and quick to make so when I reach 13 I will go make sure I have enough yarn to grab all the stitches with my wool needle time to remove it from the yarn feeder make a 360 on it to crank the 360 on it to make sure all the stitches is detached from the machine to be easy to pick up with your wool needle. If you can't grab it, it's because you forget to do the 36, not the nah, 360 oh, degrees or a full, <laughs> full circle on the machine. There, as so I continue with my wool needle, I pick between the two little teeth there almost finish and will be time to stretch it when you remove from the machine it's very important so this is the color I did so now I did the same thing for the beret I did the 13 rows if you want to make like a, a toque a beanie for it you just have to make like 15 or 20 rows but for the beret I did 13 rows so I keep the same number all the way <laughs> see here I didn't get enough yarn so I go very careful keep all the stitches on my wool needle so it's something like that I happen to you just be careful full like this and when you reach the starting point, it will be easy to pull on your wool needle. See, the yarn is not long enough, but I get it through. Haha! <laughs> so I continue. That's a little tip. And there, be very careful. I hold it with my, my two finger and grab the last one. Oh no it's not last one it's there's two more to get there so ta -da! 13 rows for the bed I stretch it very important and time to fold it oh I forgot to make sure my knot are tight enough I cut the excess to prevent the seed through there cut it do a double knot cut the excess I, I keep like 1.5 centimeter usually there I fold it reach like this pull like I told you it's a a good starter pattern for newbies 
or also a quick pattern to give it to an uh, organization it's easy just take a little bit of yarn like all your leftover you could use it for that so I attach it it's look like a beanie right now but it will be a little pile so to close it I will go with my needle grab one stitch skip one and grab the next one one skip one one skip one I will do that all the way I'll take my time I'm not gonna put that too fast because like I said newbies will be able to do that it's a quick and easy and also fun little pattern and depending how advanced you are this have three different possibility you will see during the video so time to put the stuffing just add a little bit at a time like this to prevent the little pile to be deformed just go pull a lid on it there it will look like a ball and it's okay that's what I wanted time to pull push it with your finger hold it tight there's an, a little hold on the top but I will fix it with the little beret at the end so just straight that with my wool needle make sure that almond color doesn't go through like this and I find my color change place and now I do my nose over there and for the nose I just go very very slow like this and go back and forth like this and put a little crayon to give my nose a shape and to prevent me to tight it too tight and deform the face see there and keep going if you don't have a crayon just use a hook or something small that you have on your working table so that's the nose I want there bring it there and do my double knot there this is the way I want the little nose we'll go in there I could reshape it a little bit there Like this it look like Humpty Dumpty <laughs> it could be one huh? there yeah, Humpty Dumpty it could be cute if you have the story you could tell the story to your little one and showing Humpty Dumpty <laughs> It's funny when when you do something, you create something, it give you idea for something else. Inspiration, it's called. <laughs> so I hide all my little tail of yarn except the one on the top. Instead of the bear, if you want to do some hair on top, it's possible to everything's possible with this little ball there so it look like this and I will go to, oops no, just one full V 
I will do the eye the easy way. I go down and go up to prevent see-through black yarn in your almond color yarn. So I go on the neck region in the back. Fix your eye. If it's too tight, you could fix it after. And I will go and bring it to the same stitch on the neck. There, pull a little bit. to a double knot and I did Doo -doo -doo. I will put that there Boop. cut the excess and voila see you could put it like this it could be easy for newbies or you could go a step further and put some arms so, one, two, three, four, five, five, five column wide. And I go down on the same column. Now go too tight and five again. And after that, I would just have to pull on it to give a shape for my arms. There. Like this. And back. And then we we'll go back and forth like this to do the shoulder. When it where you want it you attach it so one arm's done time to do the other one and same same trick one two three four whoops five is better to be equal to the other one and I will go down well just hold it just to show you better there and then I will pull. Come back and forth for the and hands. It's hard for me. Hands and and pull. <laughs> I need more practice. I'm. I know. So come back and then time to attach the shoulder together like that hold it tight and see that's another way hiding those tail of yarn very important there pull The excess like this. See, you could keep it that way. So a second option, or you could go and do legs. So I go in the middle, in the back. Bring it in the front going down following the same column like this keep going and then I will do like I did for the arms I will just pull on it to give it a shape see Ta -da! this is a small pattern with a lot of possibility just change the color will give a different look if you want to make a beret 
or her hat beneath, it's possible too, or without any hat and just put some hair on top or with no hair a lot of possibility time to hide those little tail of yarn cut the excess Ta -da! see ha <laughs> it's it's getting cuter and cuter if you keep going so time to close the little tube that I will do the hat with it. There, strong knot, tied it, and hide it inside. There. So now I will pull on it, but not too tight, just a little bit. I will keep it open to fit it at first i was to put it on it like this like a beanie but i found it was a little too tight so i decided to just fold it a little bit and keep it open like this just a little bit and do a beret. It's giving a French look. <laughs> it's Charlie. Oh la la! <laughs> He's ready to go out and to comfort everybody with his cute little face. Like this. If you still there, can you put a thumbs up or a little heart in the comment, please? And don't forget to subscribe. It's very important to keep my channel go a regular pattern every week. It gives me some boost when I have more subscribers. So keep me boost. <laughs> So I will continue like this. I grab one on one full stitch on the the head and one full stitch on the side of the beret. Like this. When I reach the starting point, I will go on top and do a little knot. I earring my my kids playing out upstairs. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. They are fun. So I cut the excess. Ta da! It's done. Only the little final touch with the ends. So I just take almond color from Bernard Premium. For the skin color but every color will do you could also do a, a little extraterrestre ufo <laughs> with the, that pattern so i just go through and reach the starting point nothing complicated with this one Ta -da! so we'll knot it Hide it. I love my wool needle. <laughs> there. So see you next week for a new video. Ciao, ciao.